Ashley Morris, Capriati Sandwich Shop, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer. So we are a fast casual and upscale fast casual sandwich shop. So we do, uh, half of our menu is made to order hot subs like cheesesteaks, chicken cheesesteaks, grilled Italian subs, things of that nature. The other half are cold subs that are um, basically our, our differentiation point is all of the proteins that we put in the sandwich, we make in house. And so when we serve you a turkey sandwich, you're getting a 24 pound slow roasted turkey that has one ingredient, turkey in it. And uh, we cook that in house every day. Same with our beef and our pastrami's and our meatballs and so forth. So we're really like this little restaurant that operates as a fast casual sub shop. What was given to me was aim to be the dumbest person in your, in your organization. Aim to be the dumbest guy in the room when you look at your senior leadership team. And you know, we made acquisition, my buddy and I made acquisition of this company, I was 27 years old. And so I hadn't had this long track record of you know, running a, a restaurant organization or, or you know, a multi-state company. Um, so we had every uh, reason to go out and try to hire the very best and brightest people that we could. And so to this day, as we're looking at expanding our leadership team, you know, kind of the first question I continue to ask myself is, is this person much smarter than me? Is he more experienced than me? Has he done something much better than I've ever done? And, and so that I continue to aim to be essentially the dumbest guy in the world. It's served me pretty well. So to me, the biggest key indicator of a strong business culture really starts with having alignment around values. Um, and what I mean by that is the company has its set of values, obviously, but those values really in, in any company is generally an extension of whomever the leader of that organization or the owner of that organization's value system is. And so, you know, when you make decisions, when you get clear and, and committed to making decisions based on those values, making hiring decisions, make, you know, in our case, we're a franchise organization, so making franchisee uh, decisions, franchise partner decisions with these values, um, you get a lot of alignment. Um, and, and when you have that, that's when the culture, that's when culture really starts to form. People gravitate towards organizations that, that they understand, that, that, you know, that they have this connection with. And the reason why I think that happens is because the connection really is the organization has the same value system as the individual. And so for us, we, we are highly focused on that. So we've, we've really, in every meeting we go to, you know, with all hands meetings, it's all over our walls, it's how we make our hiring and, and firing decisions is through company values first. And by doing that, you partner with people who are similar minded and who, who have similar foundation. And that creates a culture. That puts a lot of people in the same room together that all, uh, you know, are, are similar. And, and that's when you get great things. Thank you.